Oh man, this is what the pandemic lockdowns do to you. They'll make you feel like a stuffed animal. Today, I'm going to be talking about William Holbrook Beard. Um, he was one of the most influential artists in the animalist movement of the mid to late 1800s. This wasn't just an art movement. This also included literature such as Beatrix Potter, the one who wrote Peter Rabbit. William Holbrook Beard was born on the 13th of April, 1824. Uh, he died on the 20th of February, 1900. He was born in Plainsville, Ohio. One of his biggest attributes is that he was studied at the Dusseldorf School of Painting, and he even became a member of the National Academy of Design in 1862. His main studio was on 10th Street in New York City. It's known as the Studio Building. Now, this building was torn down in 1956 to make way for an apartment complex. So, without further ado, let's get into talking about some of his most famous works. One of my favorites is called School Rules. No clowning around here. They got, they got the schoolmaster there sitting on the uh, the couch, and then you got the uh, cat and dog fighting, of course. See, this is the thing about William Holbrook Beard is uh, he also puts elements of, you know, the animals themselves into the anthropomorphic portrayals. So you, of course, got the fox in the middle, what, looking nice, looking nice. They got the fox and the bear. You know, they're probably sorry for breaking whatever is on the floor. One of the interesting things that I noticed is the guy on the end. I'm not sure if he's a woodchuck. I'm not quite sure what he is, but he's wearing what are, what are called ruffs. You know, like a double ruff around the neck. Now, this painting was done in 1887. So that style of dress was very old fashioned, even for this time period. The next one is The Dancing Bears. This one is kind of kind of funny because it's like, you know, they're having a big party. They got all the bears dancing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Playing like a trumpet or something. Bugle, drum, something or other. It's just a big party. That's all I can say. The next one and one of the best is The Bulls and the Bears. New York Stock Exchange, you can see right there. People are always going on about their stocks. Is it going to go up today? Is it going to go down today? You got the people that are very pessimistic and think it's going to crash. You got the people that are very optimistic, think it's going to keep going up. So what better way to depict the craziness of the stock market than having the bulls and the bears slug it out? Just slug it out right there in front of the Wall Street Stock Exchange. Funnier than watching one of the business channels. One other interesting thing to note is you can see off in the distance the bears climbing, people flying, or bears flying rather, climbing up the pole. And there's an unlucky uh, bull down there that just got annihilated. Just a slugfest. Next, we have here, His Majesty Receives, and of course, I like this one because His Majesty is the fox, and you got all the rabbits there talking to His Majesty, the fox. I don't know if they realize it there, but only, it looks like he's wearing an ermine coat because you can see the little dots there, which is ironic because it's an animal wearing another animal's hide. I like how his characters are well-dressed. They have, you know, very nice-looking nice looking coats and things like that. I find that to be really cool, how they're dressed. It's, it's so, so fancy. Professional should be the word. Next, and the final one here is, Who's Afraid? <laughs> this is some hardcore outfoxing going on in this one right here. 
Um, I believe this one is in a private collection because I saw it on a fine arts website. But you got here, see what better way for the fox to get the rabbits when they take the foxes, when the fox takes the rabbits lunch. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? You got out foxed. <laughs> yeah, who's afraid? Instead of who's afraid of the big bad wolf, it's who's afraid of the fox that took your lunch. I hope you enjoyed looking at this very interesting artist from the late 1800s. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you have a wonderful day. Okay. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.